Hi guys, in this video we're going to be making a little figure from Hotel Transylvania 2. I'm going to make little baby Dennis. This is a collaboration with my other YouTube friends who've also made Hotel Transylvania 2 treats. You can find links to each of their videos in the description box below and I'll also put links at the end of the video as well for you to go over and see their pages. So to start with, I've iced a board and I've just put a ribbon around it. Now I do have a video for icing a board if anybody's stuck for how to do that. Um, I have only just done it so it is still soft so you might want to do yours in advance and let it dry that's fine because um, sometimes I find I end up catching it. So I've got some modelling paste that I've just dyed yellow so I'm just using this one um, you can get all different ones this one's a Renshaw's it is really firm so just give it a knead before you start using it. If it gets a bit dry and cracks just add a little bit of Trex or shortening to it. Now, I'm not going to use all my yellow I need to save some for arms and legs. So we literally just going to roll our ball shape so that it's a little bit narrower at the top. I do apologise, I'm covered in food colouring. So, kind of a bit of a teardrop shape. You don't want it to be too pointy at the top because it's got to support the weight of the head. And literally all we're going to do is stick that into the centre of our board. So I'm just going to use a little bit of water. You can use edible glue or royal icing to help it stick a bit firmer if you want. I'm just pushing it a little bit. So I know it's stuck down nice and firmly. So the narrower end is at the top, the fatter bit is at the bottom. Taking some more yellow, we're going to make some legs. So start with a little round ball and what we're going to do is we're rolling it so it's a little bit thinner at the top end and we've got a nice chunky bit at the bottom for our foot. So we're just going to pull that one upwards like that that gives us our little foot shape. Now, it's not got too much detail on it because he's in a bit of a baby grow. So you're going to make a second one the same size and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it at an angle so that it fits into the side of my body. I'm going to do the same with this one, just cutting it at an angle like so. And all I'm going to do now is put a bit of water on the bit that I've cut and also a little bit on the underside where it's going to stick against my board and we're going to push these into the sides. So work out which is the front, which is the back and we're just going to push those in like so. So we're going to take some flesh colour now. It is literally, the food colouring I've used is just called skin tone I think. It's a sugar flare one. And we're just going to make some little hands, starting with a little ball, like so. And I'm just going to cut out a little triangle giving him a thumb and finger and what we're going to do is we'll just curve that round a little bit and it's going to sit on the top of his foot and then we're going to make another one for the other foot. There's a bit of water on there and we're just going to stick it onto the top of his foot like that. Okay. So we're back to our yellow again to give him some arms. Starting with it thinner at the top and I'm just going to work out how long it needs to be, so I'm going to pinch it off about here. Now, where I've pinched it, it's kind of left it narrower there than was just cutting it, which is fine, that's what we want. And we're going to bring it round so that it just touches the end of our hand. And you're going to do the same with the other one, and what we're going to do is put some water along the side of it that's going to be touching his body, and the little bit that's going to come down and touch the hand. I'm going to start up near where the top of the body is, and bring it round to meet the hand like that. So you'll see from above, just like that. Okay, you'll do exactly the same on the other side. And what I'll do is I'll just create a long thin piece which will go around the sort of cuff of his baby grow. It's a bit of water in there where we're going to stick it. And we're going to put this around there like so. So what I'm doing now is going to paint on little dinosaur patterns. So I've just got a jade colour and a lavender colour that I'm going to go on with. Now, I'm not making them especially neat, but if you prefer not to paint on at all, you don't have to add the dinosaurs, you can leave it without. So you can see they're not exact pictures or anything, they're just very rough shapes that I'm painting on there to just get some stuff on there really. Keep going like this until you've covered the whole little baby grow. Okay, so we've painted little dinosaurs 
or roughly shaped dinosaur things now all over the baby grow. So we'll let them be drying and in the meantime I've dyed a little bit of modelling paste purple. I'm just going to roll it out slightly. In fact what I'm going to do is just leave it this shape. I was going to use a cutter but actually we'll just roll it with our hands into a nice round shape because this is his little birthday cake that he's got. So I'm just rolling it on my board to try and straighten up the edges on it a little bit. So once we've got our rough little cake shape, what I'm going to do is roll some little white balls, which will be the skull patterning. So these are only going to be very basic. They're not going to look exactly the same as the ones in the film. I'm just going to put a dab of water everywhere that I want to push one, and I'm just going to push it on. So they're not really skull shaped, are these ones with them just being balls that we've put on. If you want to spend a bit longer making them look a bit more skull shaped, you can do. Okay, so I've put my little circles on so they don't really look like skull shapes, but for this it's, it's okay. I'm just painting on again, two little black eyes on each one. Little nose. Again, you'll see it's not the neatest painting, but you can spend longer than me on it. Or you don't have to put a cake on it at all. So little smiles, or little mouths I should say, shouldn't I? If you want to change the shape, just push it in a little bit with a modelling tool. And once you've done that, I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the bottom to stick it in front of him on the board. So it's just on our board now like that. And I'm going to pipe on the edge of his cake with royal icing, just using a small nozzle. Now, if I'd have thought far enough ahead and planned it properly, I would have dyed this pink and I haven't. So what I'm going to do is pipe it on in white and then I'll paint it up afterwards once it's dried. So I'm just using a 1.5 nozzle. Again, you don't have to use the same size, you can use a different size. And we're going to paint around, or not paint, squeeze it around the edge and I'll just see if I can get this closer for you to see. So in here, Squeeze, oh, it's not very neat at this angle. Let go, squeeze, then let go. Oop. Squeeze, let go. Not the neatest piping work by me. And you're going to repeat exactly the same on the top edge as well. So now we're going to make a little monster for the top of the cake. And we're going to keep it really small. So we just want a round circle for our body. And now for the head. We want it quite a bit bigger than the body, so I'll just hold it against the body to see size-wise. I'll add a little bit more to it, I think. Okay, and what I'm going to do is roll it so we've got a fatter bit at the bottom of the head for the mouth. And then the thinner bit's going to be the top of the head. And I'm just going to use a balling tool to make an indentation in the head where we're going to put his eye. We'll leave that little hole in there. And I'll just zoom in a bit, see if you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm going to just put a line across for where his mouth's going to go, like so. Now he does have lots of teeth, you don't have to add them if you're worried that it's a little bit small and fiddly. I'm going to see in a second if I can get them on or not. I'm going to take a ball of yellow for the monster's eye. I'm going to put that in the space there, I'm just going to change the shape of his head so it goes in a little bit more there and then we want a little eyelid for him so I'm going to roll circle, squash it, cut it in half just going to put a little bit of water where it's going to go and I'm going to stick that over the eye like so and then we're going to paint in the tiny bit of eye that you can see or the centre of the eye just under the eyelid, you can paint this on before you put the eyelid on in fact, that probably would have been a more sensible idea. So we'll stick a bit of water under his head. I'm going to stick body on like so. It doesn't quite look the same as the one on the film. So I've just got some white food colouring. Or what was white, mine's changing colour. Each week it gets a little bit dirtier looking with all the different colours that get mixed in with it. Okay, so just taking a thin brush, we're going to try get some little teeth on there, just above the lip, or the bottom lip I should say, like so. So I'm going to stick a bit of water now in the centre of my cake and I'm going to squash him on in the middle. So I'll try and show you if I don't knock it off while I'm doing that, okay. 
Now he needs a number one candle to go on his head, but we're not going to put that on just yet. I'll give him a little bit of time to set a little bit harder, otherwise I'm just going to completely squash him. This has started to dry. You can leave yours longer than I've left mine. I've literally just left it while we've been making the monster. So just take a red or a pink. I don't have a pink that's quite the right colour for this. I'm just using cherry red. And we're just going to gently paint over our piping work. A nice bright pink would look nice, but I can't find one. And do this all the way around the piping that you've put on, on the top and the bottom. Okay, so we're going to move on to his head next. Now, because his head is so big and his hair is so big compared to his body, he's going to be very top heavy. Now, you can do it all in modelling paste if you want, um, but I'd advise letting the body set before you add the head or putting a cocktail stick in so that the head won't come off and then leaning against things for it to set. Because of the weight today, I'm going to use a polystyrene ball in the centre of the head um, just to reduce the weight. You can also use um, a ball of Rice Krispie Treats if you want to make those instead. Because this is only for the video, um, it's not going to be eaten or anything, I'm going to use the polystyrene. Okay, so we've got some flesh colour modelling paste here. Just kneading it, as I've got a few cracks in it, so I'm going to try and get those out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover most of the polystyrene ball. I'm not going to cover the whole thing, um, as what I'll do is I'll cover the top bit with his hair afterwards. So I'm pinching this now so that it's slightly thinner in the centre and leaving it quite chunky on the edges. Okay, and I'm going to put some water inside this. Again, you can use edible glue if you prefer. Oh, and my polystyrene ball is gone. Okay, so I'm pushing this around my polystyrene ball, like so. I'm just going to flatten it at the back just a little bit, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to cover the back with hair anyway. Now what I want is for his head to be a little bit wider up at this top bit than down at the bottom. I spend a little bit of time smoothing it out a little bit more than I have done. This bit I'm not too worried about at the top because we're going to be putting hair covering this. Now what I'm going to do, is most of his face is quite near the bottom of his head. So I'm going to put in an indentation where I want his eyes to go. So we're going to put them in about here I think. Now if you rub too hard like what I am doing you'll start seeing your polystyrene underneath. But I'll cover that with his actual eyes. So you can spend a bit longer smoothing the surface of his face down if you like. And mine's got plenty of fingerprints in at the moment. Now he wants a little button nose. So we're just going to push on his nose in place. He only wants to be tiny. And then what we're going to do is just put in a little line for his smile. So a nice curve. And then we're going to open this up a little bit using the modelling tool. So I'm using the little curved edge to push this down. Like so. And then we can fill this with black fondant. I'm just going to press lightly with my tool either side. Just holding it against the body so I can see size-wise what it's like. So I'm just pushing in the face just slightly here at either side so just here just a little bit and I think the polystyrene ball that I am using in the middle is I think a 60 millimeter sized one for anybody that is wondering I'm gonna just put a bit of water in the opening where his mouth is and we're just gonna fill it with black fondant I've just got a small amount of black that we're just gonna roll try and get it narrower at either side so it kind of creates a bit of a smile shape and then we'll just drop that into the gap and then just push it in gently with a tool or a paintbrush whatever you've got to hand and what we're going to do now is just rosy up his cheeks a little bit so just using a dry brush now I've got some pink edible powder on now I'm using I've forgotten now if it's called petal crafts or petal dust petal crafts I think it is I'll put a link to where I've got it from below in the description as well so that you can have a look at it. Okay, so just lightly dusting it on 
like so and then we're going to move on to his eyes next so now on to his eyes we're just going to go back to some white we're going to roll it out and i do have an oval shape cutter well it's slightly narrower than what i was after so we'll have a look at what it's like against his face oops if i can get it to stay on that's not too bad what i'll do is i'll squash it on there a little bit to fatten it when it's in place so i'm just going to put a little bit of water where i want each one to go I'm going to push that in place like so. So I'm just rounding it off a little bit with my finger when I'm squashing it on. Because you'll see when I put the other one in, that one now looks narrower. So we're going to squash it down again to make it match the other one. Okay, so we've got some nice pale blue now that we're going to roll out. And I've got a, the next size oval one down from when we've done the eyes. So we'll cut out two eyes. In fact, what I'll do is... I'm going to put some water on it while it's in the cutter with it being a plunger cutter because then I can push it into the eye like so and again just push it down we'll do the same for the other one and again we'll do the same with another size down but we're going to put black in this time so we're cutting two out of the black I'm just going to put a bit of water into the eyes and we'll push these in the center of the blue bits And we're just going to put a little bit of water at the top of each of the black bits because we're going to put a tiny little speck of white. We're just going to roll it from fondant. Struggle to get the tiny bits in. And now he's ready for his eyebrows. So I'm just going to paint them on. I've just got chestnut brown here for his eyebrow. And his eyebrows are quite high up his head. You put them on in fondant if you prefer. This is where usually I get them on even. Okay, so his head's now about ready to stick on his body. I'm going to use a cocktail stick, pushing it on a cocktail stick, and then I'm going to push it onto the body itself. So we're going to push this cocktail stick in. I'm going to push it down as far as it will go. And then we're going to push the head onto there. Like so. Now, I'm going to leave, let this dry before we add any hair. So I'm going to leave it overnight, and I'm just going to rest it against something so that the head doesn't fall while it's drying. I've let him dry now for a couple of days. I was only going to let him dry overnight, but actually I just ended up a bit busy. So he's had a couple of days, but don't worry if you can't leave it that long. You probably noticed my nails are suddenly painted. <laughs> I was at an awards ceremony the other night, that's why. I've got two round balls of my flesh colour. We're going to give him some ears. Now his ears are quite big. All I'm going to do is squash down this ball so that it's kind of left a little ridge around the top edge. I don't know if you can see that. And we'll do the same with the other one, so just squash. Like so. Make sure they're a similar size to each other. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the back of each one and we're going to stick these in place on the face. So you don't want it really far to the front of the head, we're going to put it about halfway back. And we're going to put it in line with the eyes. So I'm just rubbing that into the face a little bit, smooth it in. And you're just going to add the other one in the same way. So what I've done is I've mixed a load of fondant and modelling paste. This one's half and half, just because I'm going to cover his head in this first and then we're going to add the curls over the top because he's got so much hair. For this hair colour, I've used a tiny bit of the chestnut brown with quite a bit of the paprika slash flesh one, which is quite an orangey colour. But if you just use that one on its own, it'd look okay. So what I'm going to do is fill in all the back of his head. I'm not too worried about it being really neat because we're going to cover it in curls. So I'm going to have a flattish bit that's going to go on the back of my head. Now, I don't want to press too hard because we don't want to knock the head off. I know it's still had a little bit of time to set, but because of the weight, it's still quite heavy. I'm going to push that so it comes to like the back of his ears at either side or more or less to the back of his ears. So like I say, at the moment, it's just quite messy, but we will cover it up. And then at the top now, we're gonna go a little bit higher and wider with it. Let's see what this bit's gonna look like. So I'm gonna push that on the top. It's difficult for you to see from above, isn't it? I'm just squashing it down slightly. and just trying to do it gently because his head's moving around a little bit. So I think I'm still going to have to add quite a bit of extra height with curls to this. 
I'm just going to stick any water underneath the hair where it's not sticking to him. So as you can see, it's it's really quite rough that we've just added this on there, but we will cover over it. So taking some more, I have got a lot more of this dyed. I'm just taking a tiny bit out of the bag at a time because it's drying up really quick, is this? We're just going to add some curls. I'm going to start with the bits either side of his ears where it's going to be shortest. I'm literally just going to take a small piece, roll it out, and I'm just flattening it under my fingers like that. And then we're just going to twist it round a little bit, like so, so that you get a little curl. A little bit of water on the top. I'm just going to push this on. So you'll see the first one's in place. We're just going to keep doing that now. Now, it's going to be really boring for you to watch every single curl, I think. So I'll speed up the process. If you struggle to just twist it between your fingers, just wrap it around a cocktail stick, that's fine. So I'm literally going to do the same thing, fully covering everywhere in his head. But we're going to make the curls a little bit bigger as we get to the top. So smaller near the ears and around the back. And as you get to the top, you can get bigger and bigger with them. So I'm just taking some green modelling paste. I've just dyed this one a kiwi colour. And then we're just going to make a small number one for the top of his birthday cake. I've dyed way more than I actually need because it only wants to be tiny. So we're going to keep it flat at the bottom. Try and bend over the top bit of it to make it more like number one in shape. I realise it's really small, sorry, you won't be able to see it very well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some tiny, tiny little bits on so it looks like dripping candles. So take some, just roll it into long teardrop shapes and just stick that onto your number one. I'm going to add a few of these on. And I'm just going to stick this now onto the head of my little monster that's sat on the cake. if I can squeeze it in there. I've got the tiniest little bit of yellow that we're going to roll again into a little teardrop shape. I'm going to try and stick this on top of the candle. Apologies, it's not very clear from above. But we're literally, you're going to put the fat end touching the candle and the thin end pointing upwards. So this is the little candle's flame. And I'll show you a picture of that from the front. So that's it, that's our little character all finished. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check out the other Hotel Transylvania 2 videos which you can find on screen now or in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.